is right here, and we are just getting started. Man, that is a beautiful sound. <laughs> uh, we're going to be kicking this bad boy off on Pearl. Again, heavy favorites uh, are Fnatic against North American representatives that honestly a lot of people still continue to doubt. Given the fact that they've gotten this far, there's still so much like, lack of confidence shrouding this team. Absolutely. But I think Xset showed that they definitely can play with the top dogs in EMEA. They beat FPX to get here. They and did. It was all really heavily off the backs of Cryo and Zek, and you already got Cryo in an aggressive spot, but the Prowler's gonna give him away. Great patience for Fnatic so far. Yeah. Just to clear him out. But the follow-up here, they've got three players to receive this hit. It's going to be the same type of thing that Fnatic was trying to do in their opening game on Pearl. Yeah, the same wall goes up. He's gonna try to get backside, and Zek and decapitates him to start off the round. How much more can he find? Boaster on the trade, second on the swing, trying to find it. No, Durka manages to clean him up. The spike gets planted. As Cryo dances around, waiting for reinforcements, waiting for help. His numbers advantage in favor of Fnatic. Mystic, who is an absolute demon, on the flash, finds way too many targets to deal with. Durka not able to land the shot either. Time ticking. Has to back up. Goes through a 1v1. Cryo, Enzo, and Cryo's going to win it out. What? A shot from Cryo to close that out. But that round went topsy-turvy. Yes, I mean, right into the back of sight, you had both of the dive players, Zekin and Alfayer, not getting too much. Obviously, Alfayer falling to Zekin. He got clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't just fall, he hit the deck. And it's important to see Xset start off and being able to shut that down because that is the play that they're going to be using to get into this B site over yeah. and over. Again, we mentioned the the dynamic duo of Cryo and Zek and both young guns on the side of Xset. And it's mainly been Cryo, yes, but for this Xset ship to go well, to navigate safe waters, they have to be at the top of the leaderboard. And he is gonna be alone over here against the, the eco of Fnatic. Same cross smoke, it's recalled this time. And Cryo swings out and he's rewarded with a shot onto Durka, still holding onto that Marshall as well. In safe range of his rendezvous, and he gets a no-scope on Boaster and then gets away. High ground too, almost able to peek over top at Alfier. Oh, but the buns betrayed him. Alfier creeping his way forward. I don't think Cryo knows he's lost that much space. He's gone that far up. I'm really good of Aaron here to be refreshing these stars for Cryo to play with and escape if he needs to. Also, look, seconds all the way up. Very close to flanking inside of Bar. And you see Mystic waiting for it on the bottom of your minimap. Spike hasn't really made its way out very far at all. I mean, they've took full control of the other side. Uh, and I mean, I mean, Def is far up. You mentioned Zekin was far up. That crossfire is going to be brutal, but it may not matter. Yeah, Def cleans it up just in the nick of time, but not without Zekin falling. X set up 2 0. And it was just super controlled on the anti-eco. Cryo getting the openings, 5-0 and for him so far. Fnatic with the same approach twice in a row as well. You saw them vary quite a lot, actually, in their game against 100 Thieves. But a lot of time it was focused on these full sight executes. I would definitely like to see them go for a lot more splits and control based off of the default that they do run almost exclusively. Well, it seems like they're going to try things out mid. Again, a Prowler to give out here some space to work with. Relay bolt second, just on the other side. They're, they're actually here by committee. You have three members of Xtet playing in art right now. It looks like they want to swing. Oh, and Xtet uh, just getting everything they want against Fnatic right now. And Remember, this is a bonus, board. too. Yeah. Three Spectres on the board and a ghost for BCJ even. Already taken down two rifles. Cryo! Another sick angle for him. And they've got full advantage now. I mean, that marshal has been so fruitful for him already. Definitely not the star fanatic we're looking for on this map in this series. And you already see Xset coming out with the same sort of fire that they came up against with FPX on this map. Not scared to play these EMEA teams on the map. And EMEA has struggled on Pearl so far. Fnatic include have a win on it. I don't know that they do. No, I don't think so. 
It's been tough trading over on Pearl, as you were just mentioning. This round doesn't seem to be an exception. Left. Mystic and Boaster are the only two that remain with not a lot of time to work with. I think best case scenario here, what, you keep rifles, maybe get the spike down? If you're a fanatic. Yeah, Mystic's not even going for it now. Yeah, they're just keeping rifles. Yeah. Interesting development. I mean, that early switch up where they're just trading utility in mid went so favorably for x -Set. It looked like Alpha was very sheepish and they didn't have an escape, escape strategy. Yeah, Boaster's there, gotta be careful. There, was, there really was just commit. There was no escape strategy. But with money on the mind, Fnatic keep those two rifles, bring them into the next round. Yeah. And it makes you wonder, have they ever even run up against that sort of re-pressure by x -Set, obviously set up with the trap play. Yeah. See in the replay, the Prowler coming out, second sliding too. Just super solid idea on the bonus. And that's 3-0 right now. 3-0 full steam ahead, but again, we have to mention Fnatic managing to keep those two weapons from the previous round gives them a little bit more to fight with here than they would otherwise. And that could be the difference maker in this round ball. Cryo once again spotted by the Prowler, still playing in the rendezvous, gets away. It's actually interesting, Fnatic has nothing to really clear him out, even though they know he's there. So he could take a lot more sure. time on that angle if he wants to. Yeah, but a Prowler to the face, and Alfie are swinging around. I mean, could overwhelm of course. him, but you're right. Utility-wise, there's not much there. Speaking of utility and trying to get away, Turkey eats a Prowler. They're peeking on both sides right now, really trying to find a pick, but XS just not giving it to them. The setup of Death and Aaron on the safe side is enough to deter them. Just that smoke popping up. And obviously the spread that they still have, they don't want to necessarily overcommit Cute. to anything. Up to Durka here against Cryo. Yeah, and the rifles are now starting to rotate over towards B for Fnatic, so they should be able to fight back with a little bit of an extra punch. 35 seconds though. They still have this wall, the fast lane for Alpha here, so they can still do that dive play. Left. X set are gonna have to play retake here for sure. Which they, it seems like they're comfortable with. They're playing so far off, but you're right, all of Fnatic burning midnight oil here in this round. And yeah, they're gonna get back sight. That was the one difference is Alfier had not been able to get back sight, but this time he has. And he's swinging around cryo weak. Alfier on the prowl, on the hunt. And it's actually Death who falls first. And of course the crowd erupts and then silences as soon as Alpha falls. Numbers once again in favor of X set. Zekin with the ult, cryo too. Right now, I think you've got to be waiting for, yes, this fast lane to come up, maybe a smoke to come back up for Aaron. It's not planted for them. Yep. Oh, no. He's just going to hold it the entire way. It's just a full stick. What a blunder for Fnatic. You already actually saw Mystic falling all the way back, so they knew the situation was happening. But Alpha overcommitting there. We saw that a lot against the 100 Thieves. Yes, he gets the first kill, and yes, the crowd goes crazy for that first kill of the game for the Turkish sensation, but ultimately, x set is now up 4-0. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to get lucky. In 4K. Fist bumps, guys. Come Anyone? On. Please? Back up on the guns for Fnatic. And it's a lot more presence. Look, this is the same type of thing, but much slower that they were trying to do on that anti-bonus for them. And no resistance from Exit. Remember, they had three in art last time for now. Try hitting this. Cryo wants to not show that it's him right there, but ultimately has to fall all the way back. He had a big opportunity to find some kills. Here comes the split. Oh, but Dev gets a kill onto Alpha. And I want to say he was flashed. Flashed again. Damage taken. But he ultimately falls. Cryo holding the angle with the Tour de Force. About to get challenged, he does, and Mystic falls. Now the knife falls, swing back out as Cryo gets a second. The ult causing so many problems on a Fnatic right now. Boaster and Enzo once again left in tatters. The entry strategy right now for Fnatic is falling completely flat. They're just slamming their heads into a brick wall. Important to keep these guns up. You saw how they actually had a chance last round. Because of those, yeah. Because they saved the rounds, or the guns and the bonus. Oh, you're absolutely right. 30 seconds. They have the chance here to actually get the spike down. It's only a 2v2. Yeah, Buster's just so weak. And Enzo has historically been very good for Fnatic, but has had a, a relatively quiet tournament thus far. 
but he is the healthy one. He is the one that can dance with the remaining members of x and perhaps live to tell the tale. Second with the ult, the dash right into his lap. And again, he was the healthy one. Can Boaster do this? Oh, he spotted one player. Other one just on the other side. Cryo still there. Hasn't taken a lick of damage now. You've got the Cosmic Divide. Surely he heard him tap it, right? Surely he heard him tap it. Cryo on the swing plays it masterfully. A 5 0 start for X set. And the 1v1s are just falling for them. Over and over now. Cryo 11 and 0. And this all started. Uh, Fnatic's gonna call a timeout. This all started because Cryo swapped over towards the other side. Yeah. And Fnatic had no response to it. No way to actually get in the site. Hey, don't mind you, man. Don't mind you. Don't mind with you. the Spectre. Shit. <laughs> Cryo won that out with the Spectre. So well played. Boaster had no choice but to face, to challenge, and see if the bluff was a real one or kind of what was going on. And very well played. You hear the crowd trying to will Fnatic back into this one as they're the ones who call the timeout. Perhaps find some hope, perhaps find some catalyst amongst the masses. Because it's up. You actually saw Enzo pull him aside, Alphavir, and talk to him a little bit before the game started, outside of the regular huddle that they were doing. And that's really important, because you could easily get in your head. It's not the greatest start for him. And when you add up the amount of pressure that he's been under leading into this match, it you want to play, surely let's play. hinders him. The weight of a country on the shoulders of a young kid who's currently donning a one in five stat yeah. line. Yeah, it's tough when your job is, as Neon is to go. Yeah. Right? Like, to int. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's a heavy weight to bear. Either way, he's got a class in here. He's got his ultimate to work with. And exit with full momentum. And one of the things I liked about the last time they hit this side was they were able to use the Trailblazer to get Alphair all the way into the back of sight rather yeah. than just dashing in. But they've already used it now. Well, they had to try to clear Cario out, and he still hasn't moved. And that was because Xset did a great job actually getting a smoke up up there. Flashback. Try to swing off of this. You got to be careful. Durka has the tour de force. Head to head. Cryo holding one angle, Durka holding the other. Bait. This fight means so much. That might. And they're so patient there from Def not to swing off of that, to try to help. And look, he's set up already for this dive. He's got the nade ready. Fnatic have to throw something else at him right now into the overdrive for Alphier. And Alphier dashes right into it and he gets a kill with the ult. Upgrades a weapon too. Now oh. with the Vandal in tow, Zach can actually drop Boaster. Spike still not planted. Oh, and Zach can try to make the play as well. Not able to find any space to work with. Prowler not going to reach Alpha as he's still is healthy in the safe confines of backside. Now some smoke to work with. Cryo still holding the op. Backset patient as they mull over their approach. How do they find space? How do they move forward? You move forward right into Alpha. Aaron left in this 1v3 on the tap, the challenge, the dare to swing, and Fnatic gladly answer the call. A strong round and a response finally from Fnatic. Even though things were going great for Axet in the early round. Look at this dive from Alphier. He just goes right through the nade that Death prepared for him. And it's almost irrelevant. So the crowd getting behind Fnatic right now, certainly giving them energy. That's also like a, a perfectly good indicator of what we were talking about, where Alphier's job is just to go. It doesn't matter if there's a nade at your feet. Your job is to go in and get a kill, and he delivers for Fnatic in that round. And Xset just 
waited to set up Cry here on this angle. It's going to be the head to head again. He's gone further up than he has before. Trailblazer out. He's going to swing with it. And he lands a shot through the smoke. Cryo with the win over Durka. He is certainly stepping up. Fnatic has to find an answer for this guy immediately. The thing is, Paul, I think every team that goes up against XSET knows that. That's not a surprise. You have to deal with Cryo, but when you know what's coming and you still get hit in the mouth, what do you do? Alpha holding the op. The spike still all the way back. Right by Fnatic spawn. And at this point here, Fnatic have some money, but not a lot. Yeah, they've been ripped apart. Yeah. And Alpha has already picked up the op, so that's an indication. 40 seconds left. Cryo might peek into that. That might open up the round. Feeling a little froggy, perhaps. Cryo on the crouch. It's like watching a, a game of chicken, you know? <laughs> Who's going to peek first? 30 seconds. Well, they don't left. know they're there. Yeah. Which really just kind of removes that's, the chicken element from the game. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch black. We'll see how much longer it's Come on, they have to fight. Minutes. Come on, man. <laughs> Do it for the people. Uh, Do it for the crowd. Cryo's going to swing after time ends. Watch. Five seconds left in the round. Again, the spike was never picked up. Cryo. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Wow. This is. It's in discipline out of the young buck. So many rounds were fanatic. I mean, they lose the advantage immediately, they get slapped back immediately. Drop. And they have to decide early to save. That's what, three rounds now? Yeah, I think so. It's ridiculous. Enemy Two guns, down. they should be able to get some in this. Definitely have the firepower still to compete. Not getting fully reset, but a lot of light armor bought. Paul Cryo's 13 and one. Yeah. Like I said, they have to find a solution to him. And XS doing a great job moving him around the map. Look, he's gonna peak art this time. Do you find a solution for Cryer, or do you just try to mitigate what a, the damage? What a good haunt there. They just cleared out all of middle, and they already started rotating preemptively towards A with the non-information. And that was actually the right read, even though they don't really have much over towards B. I think they're realizing Fnatic is going to have to just stop doing what they're doing up at the top of B lane. Right I wonder there. if they fully commit to a flank or just check mid and then rotate back. It seems like they want to creep forward. Wow, they're relying fully on that trademark over at B. With no information. The call from Def here is marvelous. One point away from having his ult online, Aaron and BCJ joining suit. As the spike's still over by A. Those who just joined Alpha here, they're gonna challenge Cryo again. He's always in the right spots. And he's moving away with the time as it is, knowing they have to commit soon. Here the stars down. He has consistently delivered. Can nice, Cryo do it again? Here the knife falls through. Cryo holds. The angle holds. The challenge. And Alpha Year falls. There's no entry. There's just no entry. They're still stuck behind the main choke point here at A. There's no entry. How do you go when your go button is gone? Oh, the knife exploded. Second, tempted, wanting to swing. But trust his teammates to hold the line at How least for close? now. It's another know. round. Yeah. The same situation. Fnatic out of time. And out of players. I mean, wow. Xset are destroying them. And again, the read from Def, so good. They made a call to stack B almost instantly at the beginning of this round. And then Cryo as well to hold his nerve and stay there while the execute was happening over through that choke point to take the 2v1. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be thinking this is way too easy right now. Hey, he might be one of six people smiling in this Don't venue right now. <laughs> For as much as the crowd erupted when Fnatic came out, right now, other than the sounds of the game and the commentators, you could hear a pin drop. As Fnatic just feels flat. Right back to the same old. I mean, they're even running out of ideas here. And Post is leading the charge. Ooh. That's a different idea. Second tried getting something done there. Gets tagged up pretty heavily. Op back in the hands. No, he uh, goes actually to the lower HP player. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Cryo gives it up. A little sleight of hand. Juke me out. 
Durka a second longer and he would have had that AK. Yeah, using the ult. Once again, the go button is neutered, but this time Cryo not able to find anything. Alpha, Knobshot buzzing right by his head. Still patient, you see how meticulously they try to move forward as they deal with the incessant crash and whine and soar of every bit of utility, and Fnatic find an opening. Finally, a clean round here from Fnatic. Doesn't go down to the wire. And you can see, I mean, the light armor strat still being invested here. And the fact that they're getting these weapons round after round, they still have staying power. I know Xset is destroying them on the scoreline right now. But every single one of these rounds, Xset has to not let up off the gas. And, and oddly enough, it almost feels like Fnatic have to let off the gas, right? Like, think about this round in relation to all the other ones. It was Alpha Year Go. Alpha Year Go Fast. Yeah. This time it was a bit more cautious, and yes, they, they were trying to deal with Def's ult, <laughs> but it was a bit more metered, and perhaps so instead he does win the race for this composition. Yeah. Because the truth is, Go Fast hasn't worked. Two on the board now. I do think there was an element there of X hit. You know, the Bogdan's Law that occurred, a bunch of different things where Cryo speaking with the Vandal instead. They gave up their main advantage, right? Yeah. And Zekin was very weak. Yeah. They're going to push back up that B lane. Same idea here from Boaster, calling this B push once again. This might be a little different from Exit, though. Look at Zekin. He's far up with Cryo, and they want to challenge aggressively. They want to deny the space. And this time, the duel goes in favor of Alfier. It really has been Cryo leading the charge instead of Zekin, and that hasn't been the case in the group stage. Zekin was the guy who was leading the charge, actually had the highest kills per round in this tournament so far. And Alfier is actually doing good against him. The battle of the two 17-year-olds going well for the Turk. What a shot from Dev. I mean, fully blind, and now the Nightfall that they have to navigate. Once again, looking for any semblance of sunshine and an otherwise brutal half. It feels like every time they push these sites, it's a cacophony of utility. And this time, their information goes silent once again. Careful here. See the pinks through exit, still healthy here. They still have cry with the operator, hasn't taken a lick of damage yet. And that's normally, no, but. yeah, that's normally the cue. It's seldom a bluff! And exit, read it well. Down B. 30 seconds left. Exet, or excuse me, Enzo with the spike out of reach. Not able to find anything. Exet get to eight. Dude, you have to be wondering right now, where's the follow-up utility there for Alfier, right? Because so often, he's going in ultimately dry. Yes, he's going through his fast lane, but there's no flash for him. There's no grab you on to pull left. cry off of that angle. Exactly. Yeah. It's just not all the way thought out, and wow. We're at an eight to two score line. And Fnatic is using their second timeout. Only two in regulation. And it's already gone. You've got to calm the nerves here. And yes, this is Xset's map pick, but man, they look good on it. While, as we've been saying, this is the Fnatic have really had no answers to the defenses of Exit. You mentioned how well the North American representatives are using their utility to stifle all of what Fnatic want to do, and man, it's just, it's just kept them in fits. A 16 and three performance out of Cryo so far. We're not even at halftime. <laughs> Love to the Turkish teams, the Turkish orgs out here. Obviously. Thank goodness we have Alpha here at least for them to support. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder, burning that second time out in the first half, what the conversations, what the comms are like for Mini as he tries to gather his team and settle the situation. Not a single member on the side of Fnatic Positive. That's hurting. For sure. Oh, Dirk as well. I mean, we've seen him have success a little bit against Cryo, but 
for the most part. He's not able to find anything on these attack sides. This was a really cool idea off the fly for Mystic to try to get Alphir some space to challenge Dart with Dirk of it. Again, nothing there. And now Cryo can reassess on the angle. Dude. Again, the read from Def. Look, they're stacked mostly over towards A, just playing full retake, but they don't even have the trademark this time. BCJ was so good when we saw him play last. Against FPX, yeah. a monster he was. And he's in a position to deliver Frag set yet again. This time the gravity well used, and Jerka has to give this chase up. Is that going to actually fall? Is Alfier going to get traded back out? It's a 4v4 here. The spike just now making its way into art. You see Xset rotating through spawn. This taunt is not going to be too impactful here with the smoke going down. And Def's knife there just yanked the rotations back from Exit towards A. And that's exactly where Fnatic are headed. Yeah, they found some space to work with. They've worked their way forward. And they're going to manage to get the spike down the Prowler to try to find a little bit of something. But nothing doing yet. No ultimates on side of Exit either. Got a good setup here. Mystic still has his flash. Oh. Double swing here with Enzo. Oh, Aaron finds gorgeous timing. Yeah, Enzo trades him out, but Dirk is done. Def now starting to work his way forward. Finds one on to Mystic as Enzo still huddled back. Got to save time here for Boaster on the art flank. Are they expecting him? Yeah, they are. It's Cryo with the op. You mentioned the flank, and that finds nothing either. Exet can do no wrong right now. And the call again to just fully stack. They've downloaded the playbook from Fnatic, and it doesn't look very long. Now, Def is having himself a masterclass performance right now. And that's, again, one of those performances you may not see it on the stats, right? That doesn't reflect there, but the way he is reading Fnatic right now is gorgeous. Speaking of which, he has that ultimate online. Cryo's his, too. Last round of the half. Poster with his Cosmic Divide. Usually you want to end up towards B because it just gives you so much value in getting that spike down and playing for the post plant. But Exet's -Bet, been comfortable with that. Again, Trailblazer used to get them in the position. Cry almost used that angle. He almost hit the shot, too. To cut off Dirk's hair. Because <laughs> he's balling, I get it. No, I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're using his ult, using his wall, using his relay bolts, and everything else at his disposal. And the truth is, yeah, they've gotten into long, but only halfway there. You want to fight it. Oh, a fake throw from Oster. And do they bite? They don't have information on the other side of this wall, so Second is getting there. And it's just Second. Cryo falls. Jerk of finding space. He's the push down alley, and Def is here alone. And does Def dare challenge? Does Def dare peek? Alpha this time, finding a different approach. And the shots were a little messy at first, but they land onto the leader from Xset. Enzo getting the spike down. 2v4 here in favor of Fnatic. As they have finally been able to convert some traction into action, into an advantage here in this 12th round, and it's just gone from bad to worse for Xset. Can Zach can pull off some sort of miracle? No, he cannot. Durka with three, along with Fnatic. Exet might have taken the energy out of this room, but Fnatic need to find a way to challenge the pa to channel the passion of this home crowd advantage because it's a long way back. Down nine to three. What a shot from Durka. And Cryo wanted that pixel peak too. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Sit down. A little pop off too. Yeah, he's angry. Again, the 9-3 half in favor of XF Fnatic have tried to make something work, and they've just run into a wall time and time again. Let's throw it down to the desk, see what they think. Chrissy? It's been a massive first half for Exet. Looking a little shaky so far from Fnatic, but is there cause for concern just yet? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're saying yes immediately. I mean, part of the reason you should be concerned is because Cryo is just cool, calm, and collected under pressure. This guy seems just unaffected by the global <laughs> stage, unaffected by the crowd as well that's out mm. here cheering against his team. He's putting up absolute monster numbers currently, and you can see the crowd was all, all ears, right? All ears whatsoever, but but every single time Exit had a pivotal round in the bonus round, in the round five retake as well. 
Exit are not letting it affect them at all. These guys are playing like they were, you know, they're, they're, like they're playing out of their kitchen in Austin. You know, like we were watching from these guys that are playing in the online tournaments. And it's just with every single round victory going through for the side of X set, it's a silenced audience. Yeah. They're doing their damnedest to try to really encourage the Fnatic players to find some victories. They did manage to scrape by three, but I mean, look how rock and roll Adam Driver is just chilling. Like he is, he is just chilling out behind the desk. He's like, I don't even need to do anything because Cryo is taking over the game. This guy, we just watched Yay do it, put on an absolute clinic yeah. in that last map. In the, our first series of the day, and Cryo is looking to replicate it. 17 and 4. I think he's looking to do more than replicate it. I'm wondering, is his back hurting from carrying Exit just <laughs> through that first half of the map? Nah, he's ripped. He's, 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 he's prepared to carry him for three maps if he needs to. Absolute field day performance for him, though. And a big part of it is that, you know, Fnatic, I think, of getting a little bit, you know, overheat moments here and there, not really clearing him off those corners, being a bit, you know, uh, at times scared, I think, as well, playing in this matchup. you got to play with that confidence that we know that Fnatic have. Absolutely. Well, let's get this second half underway. Let's see if Fnatic can pull something out in this in the second half. Otherwise, we're on to map two. Doug, Bala, take it away. Thank you so much, Chrissy. There is concern across the venue as the bag of tricks for Fnatic is just very shallow. <laughs> right, like they weren't able to find any traction in the first half. Maybe they do something here, but where does it go? Yeah. I do think that when we watched that first series for Fnatic on Pearl, they had a lot more on defense. Right, they were a lot more sure. aggressive yeah. with their stars. And you might see it right off the bat here for Fnatic. Alphier, Boaster, they're all posted up at A. Yeah, I can't tell who the other one is either. Mystic? Yeah, it has to be Mystic. Yeah. Oh, oh, battle. Yes, it is, and the battle goes in favor of Fnatic as Mystic gets the first. That's the type of thing they're gonna have to utilize to their advantage, leverage that aggressiveness that they can throw out at any point. Well, and Keep the, death guessing. Well, and it, the thing is, it funnels him into Durka, right? Which is a, a brutal place to be in. There's two hedge uh, headhunter shots going a bit wide. The spam through. He still has the safety of his rendezvous, and it feels like we've seen this before in the fast lane. Durka has to give the space up. His backside is lost. This B is lost. They've got the flank. But oh, Cryo with the flank! Oh, oh the timing! No! Oh, and it's devastating! A 9 3 half already! And it seems to be getting worse. Spike planted. Oh yeah, Fnatic can find no answers. Perhaps the answer's Durka. Oh, and Zekin on the swing. Durka with the kill. Oh! The second he gets it, three on the round for him, and Aaron extinguishes the fire. Now it's a 1v1. To Astra v Astra. Aaron on the swing. Boaster on the tap. He's going to get it to half. And he swings the second there. Aaron challenged. Does he take the challenge? Does he take the call? And Boaster gets in a couple shots inside of the head and the defuse as Fnatic get the pistol. Saves the snowball from happening. Saves the avalanche from Exet. Boaster and Durka with the 2v4. I thought for sure he wasn't going to get the second, or the first, excuse me, the second incredulous. Just disgusting. And he was neutralized in this one. Yeah. Immediately already forced to rotate at the beginning of the round. Put off site for them to plant. Heavy pressure again towards A, and there are full stingers, there are full specters on the side of X set. Full force. I mean, they had four kills, they got the spike down, so sure. They did see these executes be very strong for them against FPX. Flash set up in the art. What a fast lane out from Zekin over top of the wall. And that's who you're expecting to find some value for X set on the attacking side as Cryo has to cover the flank and make sure there's no one coming around. Death has already fallen, missed it on a cheeky little angle, and he gets two. I mean, the spike is forward, but. Uh, Aaron's in no man's land. He's got way too much to deal with. And it's a prime gaming flawless for Fnatic. The beginnings of something here for Fnatic. And Xset's gonna force Stingers again. This one's more of a light buy, not a full investment. Fnatic will have to deal with it again. 
They did a great job this time. They knew Xset want to dive those smokes, want to get up close. <laughs> and they handled it beautifully. This time the approach from Xset is going to be on the other side of the map. Maybe to push in this double door. Maybe to head off towards Alfier and Enzo. Knife to make sure that Dirk is not playing up aggressive. No, he's further back sight. Got a little damage on Cryo there. Gratuitous spam through the smoke goes in his favor. They don't have to be as thought thought through on this takeover towards B at the moment, given that Durka doesn't have that op online yet. But as soon as he does, you're going to need to see the same sort of dedication to clearing out all the different angles that we saw from Fnatic on the first half. Did they clear it out? Yeah, they did. That one wall bang with the sheriff clears out the alarm bot that was there, that was providing cover. And because of that, they have to drop the Prowler and they have to get Alpha to swing to check Link. He's recleared it now. Turkey gets the kill on the Cryo on the other side of the map, too. Remember, this was just two Spectres on the side of Exit Enzo. The front line, as he takes a step back, retreats to the safety of the smoke and allows safe passage, at least for now. Second putting up a wall of his own, and they haven't cleared a mistake. He's still on the other left. side. He's still in a main, and he's still playing into smoke. And there's nobody looking his way. Mystic has a chance to get so much done here, and he does. Another Prime Gaming Flawless back-to-back -back for Fnatic as the crowd erupts yet again. They're absolutely not done. Already cutting the lead in half. Right in half. Only three rounds in. And Mystic starting to turn up as well, just like he did in their qualifying match against 100 Thieves to make it out of groups. And what an outrageous performance he had then, man. Xset invested quite a bit in those first three rounds after losing the pistol. So here's the first real attempt. And Fnatic full strength, all rifles. But Dirk is gone right away. They're doing a lot over towards the other side of the map, though, Fnatic, so they might not necessarily be fully lost after this one. Look at the approach, Def. He might end up in a sticky situation. They've got the trademark here. They're watching it. Dude, they're watching it. It's, I mean, they've read them once again, but Boaster with two! Unlikely hero for Fnatic in that moment. Is Enzo going to be able to creep into it? Good spot here at Dugout. Looks like he's going to. He's full committed. Boaster cannot help him. He has one star. Will he give it to him? You want to it. The Cosmic Divide invested too. And he's actually choosing Enzo is to play on he the other side to, of it. Oh, to smoke into it. Sees the swing and he gets one, but Cryo on the trade. Boaster's done well to get them to this point, but can he push them past the finish line? Can he push them past to a seventh round? Boaster with 70 HP and no cryo. The hero in the first half for Exit does it again. A 19 year old with another 1v1. He is delivering for Exit right now. And the first sign of momentum in the second half for Fnatic. Wow, oh, they went for the aggressive push, the gamble. Death was so ready for it. Cryo's cold, baby. I mean, a barely a smirk. <laughs> Four round lead here for Xed as they try to preserve control of this first map. And they were firmly in control, Doug. Nine, three, half. Yeah, they've certainly let the, the grip slip for just a moment. Another lineup here for death going in towards the alley. All the way down below, and that's going to land for Dirk. And not close enough, though. He still has the angle up on top of this billboard. And the smoke to cover. Uh, Dirk once again spotted Neon through. Oh, second challenges. A bold peek from the youngster. Now Exet resorting to plan B, resorting to find some space across the middle of the map. Resorting to Cryo leading the way through Art. There's nobody here for him to find a pick, though. Right there. And meanwhile, Boaster's going to maintain control of A-Main. The trademark keeping him back for now as he stands just on the other side of the utility. If 
Vexet commit through Art here. Poster with that control in a main. Are they going to go through the pains of clearing back up where they need the space for post plant? Mystic on top of the box. Remember, it was Mystic who was in the smoke previously. This time, he's able to clean up Cryo and push forward. There's no way in here. With the pinch, Boaster's gonna be able to come back. Aaron, though, in sewers. He's gotta go massive. He's gotta go massive, and he does. He takes care of one. Boaster on the swing, creeping his way forward, and Def had no idea. It was actually Mystic who cleaned him up. He's been back there this entire time. Aaron just smoked him off, though, but it gives room for him to work. DCJ has to find value here again. And Aaron does to 39 HP. He tried to get aggressive into the smoke, not able to do it. Aaron, still healthy, still with some utility to work with. The gravity wall to pull Boaster off. Looking for their challenge, looking for the swing. There's nobody holding the angle. It's a he might be able to slip his way through, but Aaron's not able to land the shots. Mystic with four and Boaster with the defuse. The mid round there for Xset falls apart. Fnatic keep it within three. This one's going to be important. Spike Mystic planted. with such a good angle on top of that box. Ended. Top of the default site. Box. One enemy remaining. And he went so massive. Showing glimpses of one of the performances that got them to this point. Fast round here from Xset on to A main. There's not the same presence from Fnatic that we saw early. And again, it's a bunch of stingers invested. Look how careful Def is with that same push that we saw into the club over on the B side of the map. Just watching it, making sure there's nobody flanking early. Now we've got about 20 seconds. That same knife lineup that we've seen from Def a couple of times landed in the exact same spot and hit Alpha in Cubby. So they know Alpha's not on this side of the map. Yeah. The thing that is may make them a lot more cautious here, given Durka isn't the guy to be spotted. But again, that knife hasn't hit him at all, so maybe, I don't know. You're getting into the mental gymnastics of it all. And Mystic foregoes the gymnastics and continues to frag. They actually did ult here, so Def is back up, but immediately back down. DCJ with two HP. They've gotten the spike down, now they have the Nightfall to work with. You've got Cryo who's gonna be on the flank. Can he get the timing just right? As Ekin with nowhere to go, has to challenge, has to swing, and Durka drops him. Now Cryo again on the flank that we mentioned. What a seize. Yeah, but... Is there any follow up? BCJ overheated. Try challenging the angle, and Cryo's not able to land the shot, so the fuse comes through as Fnatic dropped the lead to two. When it was six, now it's two. And that one, a lot of ults invested, and they make it a prime gaming flawless. All five players still standing. And that was even harder, because they took death down twice. Look at that haunt. Just the kill easily. And the crowd is clearly right back up. They've woken up since that first half. So devastating. This time it's actually Xset calling a timeout late in the second half, trying to preserve a two-round lead. You mentioned the crowd having awoken. You mentioned Fnatic having awoken. I mean, just listen to him. Only two rounds right now. And remember, this time out here for Xset that's been forced out is a chance for Fnatic to get, a, get Mini talking to them. They already used both of their timeouts in that first half because how bad that lead was getting. So they've got to take that time wisely themselves. Xset really hasn't felt like they've had many gun rounds so far. And that's a problem given how fast that lead has shrunk. Yeah. This is only going to be their second true gun round. And even then, it's a second likely having used his ult. Yeah, he's got to. Only invest the sheriff here. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to hit the timing just right. Durka once again, not playing up. That knife confirming he's not taking the aggressive angle, but he's still around. And look at the aggression from Fnatic across the middle of the map. Cleared it all. 
smoke up top mid too. They're easily able to rotate through the flank or alley. Zach has to find something. They've used the nightfall as well. Dirk is all the way off site. There's nobody home. He's just looking for that same sort of push that Alpha was doing for his team out of Zekin, but it's not coming. Zekin still with the old. If he's going to find some value, he's going to have to go soon to know. Back to the Sheriff. It might be a push in Alley, actually. They're posturing for it. Well divided. Oh, they're going to have to deal with the cosmic divide, and they're going to have to deal with Alpha Year's wall. And how do you deal with it? You deal with it as BCJ does. Look at the flank coming, too. Cry has to deal with Mystic on the flank. Here, Cryo on the flash, the turn, and the shots are gorgeous. As Aaron's not able to find the same success, Boaster once again finds himself in a 1v1, and 1v2, excuse me, a clutch situation. BCJ on the peak. That retake so slow for Fnatic to come back, and Dirk gave up so much space that again, he has to slow walk it all the way through. He was by himself. There's three members of Fnatic in Alley. One member flanking, and Durka in spawn. Took way too long. One enemy remaining. There's no pressure for Cryo to have to retreat and try to help his teammates on site. He could just completely deal with the flank alone. And did he ever? Bring them down. This time, the knife. Running. And Durka pushing forward. He has not done this before. He's using the same angle that Cryo did. The fence right here. He's in the smoke. Do they challenge it? Surely understanding that the window possibilities there. No, Zekin walks into it and Durka drops him, gets away. What a play from Durka. And the push from Fnatic that's gaining information and art just happened. Cryo with the chance to punish it, but he doesn't. Here's the wall out. Should try to get the plant, but there's a lot actually committed to stop it. He's just going to go straight in. Plant super, super deep. Is there anyone covering him? Yeah, Def holding that in. Cryo so far away. And he's gonna have to hurry. If the, if, it, if the play is a flank here, get the timing right, he's gonna have to get on his horse. He's gonna have to move, and that's exactly what he's doing. It is planted for Cryo to spam through that box in heaven. Plus the long plant as well. What a setup, ECJ clearing it out. Moster has fallen. Oh, and Def does too. Again, you have to keep an eye oh. on the flank, but Durka with three. There's Cryo on the flank. Cryo gets two, not able to land the third. Aaron outnumbered, outgunned. Somehow oh. stays alive, and Aaron gets them both. The Red Bull clutches. Aaron gets three. Exit gets to 12. There's just no way. Aaron pulls that off after what looked like he was going to fumble those shots for sure. Aaron. The setup was perfect for Xset. What was it, a 4v5? Remember, Durka got that early kill on the second. And they put themselves up on match point. But Fnatic have put themselves in a position to still make this doable. It's only four rounds till overtime. And Xset find themselves here inches from the end zone. Fnatic once again sending a three-man flank down B-Long and Cryo. Waiting on the other side. Does a little bit of damage to Durka and then gives the space up. They're gonna continue. They're gonna hold this angle. Oh, they had no idea Cryo was there. What a ratty little setup. And they already took control fully of mid. Look at Zekin's position. He's inside of sewers. He's under the waterfall. Durka, they're standing right next to each other. They've walked right by each other. They have no idea that they have passed right by each other like ships oh, in the no. night. Cryo missing the shots. Now Durka wise to what's behind him. They can and you see the, the yeah, you see the rotation starting to come back and they deal with him. 48 seconds, all the time in the world to pivot right now. Fnatic had a chance to really claw at this round, but now it's just left to Mystic and Enzo. Mystic, probably the most clutch member of Fnatic so far in this tournament. Enzo, the most one at Copenhagen. Two versus three to save the game. Oh, and the gamble's correct. But Look. they're slow, they didn't go through alley, so this is taking a lot more time. Mystic and Enzo, you mentioned their clutch history. They find themselves on B ahead of Xset. They've gotten into backside, they've gotten into heaven. Mystic, if the timing's right, it's gonna be gorgeous. And so far it is! Mystic has gotten into a 1v1, Aaron's flash to spam's just there, 41 HP, and Aaron answers 
answers the call for X-State. 